can do the thrill. I can do the Robocop. I can do the Freddy B. Oh my god! 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 Is it recording? I think it's recording. I can do the Robocop. Which one? Oh. We are about to embark on a, a biking adventure of the third kind. <laughs> and here are our noble steeds. This is this is Manfred, as you can see, judging by his noble curves and sleek physique. Noble curves. Noble curves. I really quick it's really pretty outside. Yeah, I tried to take a picture of it earlier, and it just didn't work. But this. Yes, desert sky in the summer is better than anywhere else. Well, it's like the only redeeming trait. Oh, Kelly, without without makeup, I have like no clue. This is Kelly all natural. I'm kind of exhausted already. That car's kind of cool. What's up? <laughs> Did you hear that? Kelly, Kelly will do anything for money. I thought I had more news. I don't have more news. I thought I had something to talk about. I don't, I don't have that either. I don't really have anything to say. I haven't done anything lately except go to school. And I went to see the Dragon Ball movie and it sucked. And I was very disappointed. There was just so many things wrong with it. And I I was so upset. In, in, in life, there have been probably like five or six cinema adaptations that I've been super duper excited about. And of those, like six of them have disappointed me, I think. Like, the only ones I can think of off the top of my head are the really bad ones. Like, Ella Enchanted, because that was, like, my favorite book growing up. And that movie was awful. I mean, the book was so much deeper than that. And I guess if you're going to make, like, a funny, lighthearted kids movie, that would be it. But I just felt like it could have been so much better. Um, number two would be Aragon. I read the book. I've read all three of them. And I liked the first two. The third one, not so much. I don't know. Bridge to Arabathia wasn't that good. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy was funny. I actually kind of like that movie. Like, I like the movie for itself, so. Um, what's another one that I didn't like? I know there's another one. Aragon, I almost, I, I walked out of. It's the only movie I've ever walked out of, and I didn't even want to walk out of it because I'm kind of a wimp. My friend Jake made me because he was really upset. I mean, I was really upset, but he was, like, even more upset. I'm checking my Twitter to see what I said the third one was because I don't remember. I love how Twitter is, how I keep track of the things I think in life because I tweet as, almost as much as I think. Which is infrequently on both counts. Oh, yeah. Well, all three together would be... So, Dragon Ball, El El Enchanted, and Aragon. Yeah. Three worst. And I can think of a couple more that I didn't really like. But you know what's funny is, um, Fight Club is one of my favorite movies. And I actually prefer to watch the movie to reading the book, which is strange because I'm not usually like that. But, um, I feel like there are more. If you can think of any, please... <laughs> leave me a comment and let me know because I can't remember any and I know there are just so many so many <clears throat> movie adaptations oh well Twilight was pretty good I like the book and I like the movie too but I think Robert Pattinson has a lot to do with that because there are a lot of awkward moments in I think so far as like the acting goes if anything's kind of off with that movie it would be a little bit of acting Kristen Stewart's like weird jaw thing the 